Hey, everybody. Hey. It's Angel from Reading Angel. And DJ from Reading Angel. And what's your name? Reading what? Reading Ninja. Right. Oh, yeah. So, we're here with a new book haul. It's been a while since I've done one. So, I have all my Christmas books to show you and all the books I've got in since. So, we're going to try to go quickly and let Little Man show you what he got first because he's excited. Yeah! Um, first, he got... Dino Truck by Chris Gall and Revenge of the Dino Truck also by Chris Gall and he also got Big Nate on a Roll by Lincoln Pierce this is the third Big Nate book uh -huh. he loves Big Nate so much didn't we buy one for two yeah you didn't bring it through Go, hurry. <laughs> so, he's in love with Big Nate. We've been devouring these Big Nate books, and we're all about halfway done with number three now. Um, oh, he said they're good. Here's, I'll show you a few of mine. I got Iron Skin by Tina Connolly. This cover is absolutely beautiful. I'm assuming I won this in a giveaway. I didn't order it, and I didn't get it for review. Um, I don't know who I won it from, or what giveaway I got it from, so I'm sad. You know where I want it, tell me. But it's awesome. I'm really excited to have it. It's a gorgeous brand new hardcover. I'm really excited to read it. This should be all right there together, baby. Okay, I guess we didn't get four yet then. But we did. I don't know where we put it. Then we have Falling for You by Lisa Schroeder. Um, this is the hardback copy. It just released um, Tuesday. And, um... I love this book. This was probably one of my favorites in the top 10 uh, that I read last year in 2012. I read it right at the end of 2012. It technically obviously didn't come out until 2013, but I had to pre-order it and get it in hardcover because I loved it so much. If you haven't released a Schroeder, you definitely should. I don't care which one of cards you pick up. She's amazing. This is her first YA that is not in verse, and it's so, so good. So please read ASAP. It's amazing. Can I, can you show me? Oh. Then I um, also finally got in Forbidden by Kelly Armstrong. I ordered this back in September. So when I got something in from Subterranean Press in December, I had no clue what it was. I forgot I'd order it. Um, and then it came in finally in December. So I was really excited. Yeah, it's a novella, obviously, but it's huge for a novella. It's like as like, big as a novel. Uh -huh. 212 pages. So yep. giant novella. Yep. I'm excited to have that one. Show what you're going to show, then you got to go. Bin 10. Omniverse. The. It's a little comic that came with his Wii U game. And what about the other It's just the, 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 the game. game. Right, came with the game. Okay, now you may go. Let me finish. Thank you, sir. Okay, then for Christmas I got... The Ghost in the Golf by Stacey Cade. This was from Candace at Candace's book blog. She also sent me the book of the Christmas note on the front. If I can get it off. Black Dawn by Rachel Kane. This is part of the Morganville Vampire series. I'm like three books behind on this series. I really want to catch up on them this year. Um, one of my goals from this year is to do uh, the series challenge. So... I really need to catch up on a lot of my series, and this is one I hope to catch up on. And there's some swaggage in there as well. Then from Lori at Pure Imagination, I got Luminosity by Stephanie Thomas, which looks really good. And she also sent me Finnegan in the Rock. Finnegan of the Rock? Finnegan of the Rock. Yeah, that's what it is. By Melina Marchetta. Um, I've heard so many amazing things about this, especially from Lori herself. And I really can't wait to read it. I'm really excited to have this now, finally. And I plan to read it soon, I promise. From Bailey at Ivy Book Blogging, I got Paper Valentine by Brenna Yovanoff, which I think just came out today. So, um, it looks really good. I'm really excited to read this one. I also got Mind Games by Kristen White. Kirsten White? Kirsten? Kirsten? It's one of them K names. It looks amazing. Um... They stole her past, they control her present, but she won't let them take her future. Right? 
been the one I was most excited about. My face. My husband took a picture of my face when I opened this book, and it looks something like, <gasps> like that. Yeah. It's The Archived by Victoria Schwab, which comes out at the end of this month. And it's so gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. Right. Yes. And I just... I can't wait it to read it. The tagline on this book is the best tagline ever. Imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. I'm reading it as soon as possible. Then, for review, I got The Alchemistic by Anton Strout. It is an adult um, urban fantasy. It came out back in September 2012, I believe. It's about gargoyles. So, looks good from Penguin. Also got a poem by Jennifer Armentrout, which is uh, the latest book in the Covenant series. Yay, it's so pretty. Look at that red and orange. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I can't wait to read this one. I'm probably going to sneak it in next, even though it doesn't come out to April. Because how could I possibly wait to find out what happens to Alex? I got Mila 2.0 from Harper Teen. This is by Deborah Durys Durza Draza. It's from it's by Deborah. Um, this is supposed to be really good. It's from what I hear, already optioned for a movie, possibly. I don't really keep up with movie news, but I've heard that. Um, it's got a lot of buzz already for it to not be coming out until March. Mila was never meant to learn the truth about her identity. She was supposed to forget her past, that she was built in a secret computer science lab and programmed to do things real people would never do. Now she has no choice but to run. The only thing she can't escape is who she is and what she is becoming. Sounds good. Then, from Harper Teen Epic Reads, I got another set of Touch Mortal, Touch Morbid, Touch Mortal, Touch Morbid. Yes, by Leah Clifford. Love this series. I am the expert for the end is here for this series. I'm doing a reread of these two um, next week. I think I'm going to finish Napoleon and then start these. I'm really excited because... The other thing they sent me who was a touch menacing. It's printed. Like, it's not even a bound arc. I'm so excited to have this book in my hands. I got it on Christmas Eve, and my reaction was off the charts. Like, off the charts. So, yeah. I'm going to reread those two and start this and die. Just, it's the end, guys. I'm really scared. Really scared. You know Lee had to kill somebody. I don't know who, but she's bound to have killed somebody I love. That's it for me. Um, in physical books, I got an Amazon gift card for my mother that I loaded my Kindle up with. I got um, Kindle gifts from Amber at Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm going to put all those pictures down below if you're on my blog. And um, I got a set from Bailey at Ivy Book Blogging just because she loved me for my Kindle. And hmm, I got a book gift from my um, Team Kilt buddy, which I didn't bring in here, but I love it. So thank you to her. And this shirt. How awesome is this shirt? It says, where have all the anvils gone? Which I'm trying to straighten out, but I'm always backwards. Um, Yeah, from Gilmore Girls. Because it's a Gilmore Girlism, and I love Gilmore Girls. So my mother bought it for me because she's awesome. My mother and my father. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.